Is he on? And we pick up here on Shea Wright. Shea Wright on Kelleher Toscana at the main water complex. Trotting through. We're going to move back to Whitney de Vanille. Whitney de Vanille and Merlin's keep. Into the hay bales. Having a little look at that jump. It's normally a little wet in the ground. A little dark. Coming up towards the Palisade A-frame. We have another horse on course. It is number six, Shane Rock, riding Legacy's Madam Butterfly. Madam Butterfly on 35.6 dressage penalties. Whitney through the water, clear over the second last jump. Just the one fence left to go. This is Shay Wright on Callaho Toscana. They've just jumped the hanging log. Two horses on course. Shay Wright, Callaho Toscana, and Shane Rock on Legacy's Madam Butterfly. Clear over the hay bales and coming towards the Palisade A-frame. On track we have Shane Rourke and joining them is number seven, Celia Kellis, riding Beaumont Jupiter Ascending. Camera picks up on Shane Rourke. Shane Rourke on Legacy's Madam Butterfly as they clear the hanging log. Shane was in the lead after the dressage. I understand he had a pole or two in the show jumping, so that might have affected his placings at this stage of the competition. Shane Rourke on track. Celia Kellis on Beaumont Jupiter Ascending is on track. And now out goes Chantal Swanepoel on Bold Summer. Bold Summer from Umpumalanga. Shane up at Rustaman's Hill, clear at the log at the top. And clear over the log at the bottom. Lovely ride. Shane clear over the hay bales. Third last fence of the Palisade A frame. Clear over that for Madam Butterfly and Shane Rock. Trot through the water. Clear over that jump. Just the one fence left to go. This is Celia Kellis on Jupiter 